day three, eat less often. I'm sure most of you grew up believing that to eat properly, you need three meals a day and two to three snacks. Well, I'm here to tell you that this old antiquated dogma will not help you reach your goals, nor will your body have any chance to get rid of any toxins or get back into its parasympathetic rest and repose side of the body. Our bodies and digestive system need time to rest and digest our food. Our autonomic nervous system is controlled by the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. And these are critically important for understanding the way that our bodies work and they're designed to work to balance each other out. They generally work together to maintain the body's homeostasis. The sympathetic nervous system prepares the body for stress-related activities, whereas the parasympathetic nervous system brings the body back to routine. The parasympathetic system is called the rest and digest or rest and repose system and conserves energy as it allows our bodies to slow the heart rate, increases intestinal and glandular activity, and it relaxes muscles in the gastrointestinal tract. It also helps our body detoxify. It allows us to rest and have a bowel movement, but both the sympathetic and parasympathetic systems are necessary for proper functioning of the body. One of the best ways for your body to achieve its parasympathetic state is with mindful eating. While you may be conditioned that breakfast is the most important meal of the day to eat on the go, and the grains are needed to fill up two thirds of your plate, and you need to snack in order to keep your metabolism stoked, I am here to tell you no. When and what you choose to break your fast with is absolutely critical for maintaining normal blood sugar, and you do not need to eat when you wake up in the morning. We have been taught this because of the processed food industry, which has been trying to sell their sugar-laden breakfast foods for many, many years. These foods have absolutely no nutritional value and will do nothing for us except raise our blood sugar and make us cranky and hungrier after the sugar crash ensues. I encourage you to skip the snacks. When you are hungry, eat your meals. If you are finding you are hungry in between meals, you definitely wanna adjust your macros. Typically, I encourage my clients to increase their protein and adjust their fat intake. A large salad with a small piece of protein most likely will not keep you satisfied until your next meal. Be mindful of when you eat. Are you actually hungry or do you wanna eat because you are dealing with an emotional issue or you're stressed or you're angry with someone? While food has historically been a way to socially gather, emotionally heal, and reward, I want you to think about food as fuel. Think of your body as a sports car. You only want to fill it with premium gasoline. Similarly, you need to eat nutrient-dense whole foods in order to function optimally. If you give your body crap, you're going to really crap out, most likely from an energy slump and you're going to really tank your endocrine system. So I encourage you to try intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is basically eating less often. A concept of when you eat in a shorter window and lengthen out your fasting window. Your fasting period of time could be anywhere from 12 or longer hours. There are no strict times on intermittent fasting and the length of time will vary from person to person and time of life that you are in. It also depends on your comfort level. Bio-individuality really rules here, and this is not a race, it's a journey. If you have never fasted or are used to eating multiple times a day, start with achievable goals. I'd recommend cutting out snacking and sticking with only eating during your main meals. If you've already been practicing intermittent fasting for some time, try stretching out your fasting window or alternating your fasting days. You want to keep your body guessing. Much like we don't do the same workouts day to day, we don't have the same fasting windows once we are adept at it. So maybe try adding in an extended fast once a week or alternating between a 30-16 fasting window. While I don't typically recommend long-term fasting hours on a regular basis, it's a great idea to throw in some hormetic stress. Hormetic stress is beneficial stress to the body. It also gives your body a longer period of digestive rest. 